What's up guys? I'm Brittany. And I'm Tyler. And this is Wallace Farm and Sawmill. And today we are going to be cutting one by sixes uh, for a custom order from our customer's log. All right guys, I kind of had this squirreled away to the side for a little bit, but that big dude right there, might have to move these little chunks and end cuts here. But that big log right there was set to the side for a customer of mine and it's time to get it tackled. We're gonna get it turned all into one by sixes. So I guess to start this out, let's get this thing dug out. I've kind of got it squirreled away and packed in tight. So I'll have to uh, move these, probably take my fork, pick up, shove it around. We'll figure it out. You guys are gonna get to see how we do it. guys let's take it to the sawmill and uh we'll put a tape on it He's gonna put it down because he wants to get it from the other side to put it up on the sawmill that way. I believe this log has a lot of one by sixes in it. All right, guys, let's take some measurements here and see what we're working with. Whoa. She looking at 24, 5, 6, 27, 28. 28 inches on the little end. Little end. Okay. Let's see what the big end is. Let me get around here. 
I'm going through the obstacle course right now. Yeah. What you got? That is 36, 37, 38 inches. Yeah, that's going to be up near the max towards the butt. Good bit of taper on that thing. That's a big log. It's almost as tall as I am. Yeah. That's a big one. 38 inches on the butt. So, I think she can handle it. What do you guys think? So, the question is here. Question is, how many one by sixes will we get from that log? Your estimate now. Hmm. Da -da -da. I say 40. Four, 40? More than that. She said 40. <laughs> you guys can guess in the comments before you watch the rest of the video. I'm going to go with 65. Oh, I was way off. So, let's see. Maybe. All right, guys, let's see if we can fight this up onto the sawmill. It's pretty big, so. See how good she rolls. I'm gonna knock this dirt off right there, too. Only dirt on it, it's a deep bark of it now. Oh, let's go ahead and get that off there. All right, guys, we actually rolled it here by hand, but somehow the camera stopped recording. So here we are again. Uh, you see that we got it up here and we ran into some difficulties uh, putting it, you know, turning it by hand. So if you've seen one of our other videos, we're going to show you again how, we, uh, how we'll turn this thing. All right, guys, I rigged my chain up here, got my hook on the end. I'm going to kind of slow turn it here. Let's see if we can start breaking this log down. So it looks like it's gonna clear, guys. The question is, is my saw blade sharp enough? I may have to take it off and go sharpen it. I can't remember where I left it yesterday. But let's try to make the first cut anyway and see what happens here. I think just to get it going, we're gonna start out at 30. It's not gonna get anything down here because of the taper, but we'll try to skim into it down there. Maybe catch a little few two before's off of it short ones for pallet stock just to keep from wasting any of those short ones on that it's got a lot of taper
guys, took the first one by six board off the top. Now it's time to turn it because I've reached my max width down here on it, so I can't do anything else. Just thought about it, was thinking while I was sawing, I was like, Jesus, a 38 inch log mill's a 36 inch sawmill. Maybe it will saw bigger. Let's get this one turned. guys it's gonna need a little bit of sharpening to get all the way through that log i knew it was uh, a blade left over from yesterday so here we are in the sharpening room doing a little little work right here all right guys my camera actually overheated there for a second but you seen he got turned up now we're going to start taking it down. We pretty much got our whoop now. You can see we got plenty of clearance over here. So after getting that first side off, it's go time. Let's get it. guys we finally got it down to a square cant it's a very large one right now we're sitting at a i believe 18 inch by 20 inch cant we're uh 18 this way 20 that way currently the goal here is now i'm going to split that thing into three six inch cants so we're going to go 12 and six that'll leave three cants we're going to take those three cants turn them up run one by sixes out of it so that'll be the next part of the process here so stick with me as we get through this thing
get these. Never forget these at a stop your carriage. Gotta get them out of our way. Alright, Brett fired up. First cut's 19 inches. guys might as well show you this it's crazy how you can saw a log that big i hit one little tiny nail back here you might can tell in the time lapse there you'll see us pulling it out but then i'm getting down to the last five cuts five cuts and i'm done and check out this i'm guessing this is like a lag bolt or something it's solid steel about big around as your pinky nearly probably a three-eighths bolt of course that weren't a blade and guess what that was a new blade so here we go probably just going to take the saw and cut off that whole section i'm not digging that out and still get plenty of good this is a 12 foot so it'll be an eight you'll still get more than eight foot out of it there i'll just cut that out it happens deep down in there too that was years ago and that was the final cut we're going to remove the last couple of boards here guys and then i'm gonna go edge now it's looking as if I'm thinking I might have been the right one here because we got exactly 60 out of the log. Now I got to go edge over there. I'm pretty sure there's at least five, maybe more. So maybe 65 might have been dead on or maybe it's about one or two more. Let's see. What do you think, Britt? We'll just let you have this one. I know. You're so good at carrying those boards. 61. 61? All right. Well, we got to go edge a few and let's see what we get out of it. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell. I'm hot. She's hot. And we got this done. Check it out, guys. I ended up with 73. I was the clear winner of the guesstimation. He wins. <laughs> But anyway, guys, it really is hot. We're actually, it seems like we talk about that all the time, but it's in the middle of the summer. It's 97 degrees with 110 heat index in North Mississippi. That's hot. What's the humidity? Like 60%? Yeah, 65% when I just looked 65%. at it. 65%. <laughs> guys, we're melting out here. So anyway, I just wanted to make a long form video showing you something cool. 38 inch pine log. Says she can cut 36 inches. I've questioned it before. Could it? It can. 38 inches on the butt end, it took care of it. I know it had some taper, so, but it was 38 inches on one end. Don't argue with me, it was 38. You've seen it, you read the tape. Anyway, guys, uh, memberships have started on YouTube. If you want to see some behind the scenes daily uploads, check Patreon that out. Patreon is up and going. Yep. Um, uh, Brittany actually takes care of the Patreon completely and posts and does 
that daily so if you guys want to join along look in the top of our channel there's going to be a, a link in it to it in the description come join us there i usually try to post once a day at least once a day every day yeah. patreon's all on her so if you guys want to see more of that and her thought process check it out over there links in the description memberships is new on facebook we're here doing that now i just want you to see that if you see the join button down below if you don't see the join button and you're on the mobile app you have to click and select to see the full desktop website version to see the join button or just get on your computer and join us along. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more content like this in the future, keep watching out on YouTube because we're going to post at least once or twice a week. That's the plan. We're done with this job. We're on to the next one. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. See ya.